That's do what you, I mean. Do you want to watch the video? Yeah, we'll do it. We'll watch it together. Is this, are we going now? Go. No, I'll, I'll do the intro after this. The B side word. I had a guy get me a Benz before and put me in a loft space and, you know, set my whole life up differently than what it was normally. And I feel like if you brought me to like this level and then we didn't work out, but we're still friends, you know, we don't, we didn't have beef and no one cheated. It was just didn't work out. Um, but I still, ex I, I wasn't going to move from my space because it didn't work out. I wasn't going to give him back my car because I'm not going to downgrade my lifestyle because me and you are no longer together. And I just feel like if you put me in this space and that was under your budget then, what's the difference now? You know what I mean? Because you were my girlfriend. I was fucking you. Yeah, but I just... I was fucking I you. Just feel, yeah, but I personally feel like, no, I'm not yeah, moving. But see, <laughs> but see, what he did was this, though. He gave you the upgrade, but part of that upgrade is because you're with me. Yeah. You understand? So, so let me just go, though. So we didn't work out, me and you dating. You feel me? So I'm supposed to keep paying your loft and keep paying your bins. Now, I get it. You're a true boss if you do that, and that's the the vibe we're getting, but Jazz. No, it's just I'm not moving, and you, you're going to have to deal with it. If you want to stay way, upgraded, stay with, with me. If not, go see what's out oh, there. Oh, so then that. So then if that's the case, so yeah. you want me to stay with you for these items and use you, basically. Not for them. If you want to live like this, it comes with being with me. Okay. So, so then so then you would prefer a woman to just stay with you for her items and her lifestyle. My lifestyle is now contingent. My current new lifestyle that you upgraded me to is now contingent on me being in a relationship with you, and that's the only way I can have it in this moment. Then what then stops should, me then you from should just get married, staying then, with Jazz, you for that? Then Jazz, you want him to keep your lifestyle up, keep paying your bills, keep you on that same upgraded level. No, you were dating a man that had money, so dating him came with a lifestyle. But if we not working and our love is dead, I don't owe you to keep paying your, your car note and He's your mortgage. Entitled. I'm not entitled to. Now, if I'm that rich, then okay. But entitled, realistically, though. that isn't really my job. You should find you an, a man like me and upgrade to him and, and keep your but lifestyle. But that takes, that takes time. So I just feel like if someone had me on a certain pedestal, you're not just because I we no longer working you're not just gonna rip the pedestal from me like or i'm gonna feel a type of way and just as petty and ruin dumb things i'm gonna ruin so, the car i'm gonna trash the house sponsor I'm a, you sponsor you make, until you move on not until i move on but give me you so know you until I, more time what what the f <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell she what was the... like adamant uh, she was Wait, like are we are we going yeah, we're going. She was firm in her position. Yeah, she was. Uh... And her position was slutty. Huh. Well. So is that the same as if you were married? No. Elab uh, elaborate. <laughs> when you're married, it's 50 50. Mm. Even if someone's paying for everything, it's still 50 50. Mm. If you divorce legally, it's 50 50. I don't know about all countries around the world, but. I agree with that a because lot. I agree with that because the man gets to uh, pursue his career and and then the woman holds down everything in his personal life. I agree with that. Yeah, or vice versa. I th but I think I think regardless of that, even from what you input and output, if you choose to get married, like marry marriage is literally a contract. Like you don't have to get married. That's the moment you choose to get married, you're agreeing that everything's fifty fifty. That's true. That's true. Like, it is it's, a contract. It's, a, it's an actual legally binding contract. Unless like, you get a prenup. Still. But that's from that's for that's divorce. Just a that's not for marriage, is it? Yeah. But yeah. But the, still going into marriage you still put like a clause saying Yeah, with yeah, the sorry, prenup. but I meant like I meant when you're in the marriage. In the marriage, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything yeah. before is yours still. Yeah. yeah. Uh this is just craziness. And I can't believe how adamant she was. And she was like, no, no, this is my money. It's and you're going to keep me on this pedestal. It's definitely fear. So can I put a perspective out there okay. and, and sort of challenge the way you see this? Because I'm going to be honest, when I saw this, my first reaction was like, entitled much? Like, what? <laughs> this this yeah. is crazy for anyone to think like this. But something I like to do personally is especially when i see something that has that gives me like a visceral reaction that's opposite to what they're saying is i try my best to put myself in their shoes and see how they came to that conclusion mm -hmm. walk me through so i'm gonna it, do it walk i'm gonna me do through it this, this. <laughs> but i'm gonna caveat this with 
I'm going to say this in a much nicer way and put and explain this in a much better way than she did. And I don't believe this is her actual situation, but just, just okay. we'll go through it. So take me and my girlfriend at the moment. My girlfriend currently lives with her friend in her friend's house, mm-hmm. but we're moving in together. Mm. So if let's just say I was making a ton of money, we weren't going to be moving in together, but I'm like, what are you doing living with your... F- like, you deserve your own space. Mm-hmm. Like, this is silly. You don't need to be living with someone. I'm going to get you somewhere. Mm-hmm. So then she moves in somewhere. Not I haven't bought the house, but I'm, I'm renting it and I'm paying all the bit. I'm like, don't you worry. I'm going to pay everything. That's fine. So now she's in that situation. And I'm like, your car. Like, <laughs> you're driving a Yaris. What are you, what are you doing driving? Have a Tesla. Like, this is stupid. <laughs> Uh, don't worry, I'll pay the monthly payment. Like, I've got it. I'll pay the insurance, all that kind of stuff. So mm. then, in that, she she could, like, let's say the place I've got her has one parking space. Like, she could keep her car, but the chances are she's going to get rid of her car because what's the point in her holding onto a car? She's not driving, paying the tax on it, paying the insurance, all that kind of stuff. She might as well get rid of her car. Mm-hmm. so now you've been with her for six months six months later she's living in this property she's driving that car and then all of a sudden i go now nah, i'm done with you i'm out that now leaves her in a situation that she doesn't have anywhere to live she doesn't have the car mm-hmm. like if i'm just ripping that out from her mm-hmm. now again i want to say i'm not putting this over in the same way that other woman was in any way shape or form but just trying to put yourself in a situation where if you've been gifted these things, there could be a circumstance where it could be perceived harsh. I got some questions that from that person. I got some questions, but Go. CJ. Yeah, Siege. Is the reason why you wanted to get her another car is because you don't fit in a Yaris? <laughs> 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 Giving context, he's six foot five. <laughs> so... Alexander, if she chose to leave, does she still get the same... Like, are you still giving her the same benefits? What a good question. Okay. When you ask this, how do you want... Do you want me to answer the question you're asking? Or do you want me to give my actual perspective on what I said? Because I can still tear apart my argument. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. No, no. I'm just like... (laughs) if If it's from... The, like if they left amicably and then they came to an understanding and like, you know what, I, d- I don't have a car now. I sold my car. And then like they left in, on good terms and it's like, all right, I get it. You don't have to leave, but know that you, you're you going to have to leave. Mm-hmm. I'll give you some time. I'll give you some time. I get that. But like yeah. to have the <laughs> have the mindset like, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> that's how, that that was her. That was her mindset. I would be interested to know where she was before that, but that was definitely her mindset. Like, no, you owe me now. You put me here. You keep me. Like, I feel I like I deserve I'm, to stay here. I feel like it was fight it's, or flight for her. I have a question because mm. when Alexander was telling that story from her shoes, it made me think. Right, so Dev and I, after two months. I want to say I moved in with him because he was like my lease was ending and he was like why bother like releasing why don't you just move in with me and my family type thing so let's say I moved in with you Dev Mm. and then we broke up what would have happened I don't even think about this ever broke up (laughs) let's say we broke up I had moved in so now I don't have an apartment yeah because you're like come with me and then we broke up yeah what happens to me then? Uh, first off, I'm calling my boys because we're going out to party, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, okay. um, I'll have to think about it. Hang on a sec. See, <laughs> what do you have to say? Um, f- first thing, um, it would be hard for Ernest to find another place to live because most likely, this, the family will keep you, not him. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's not that's actually not um that's not too far from the truth yeah now so, but back then no no even back then so my family knowing my family they wouldn't let me just kick you out they, they, there's no chance in hell they would have said um they would have said they would have told me to go to my grandma's house until you had your back on your feet to go and find a place and all that stuff there was no way like is and like to be honest 
I, I'm not that kind of guy. Like, if I know you got nowhere to go, and I've put you, like, it's, what am I going to do? Go, go on the street? It's the last thing I want. I, I, in general, I don't like see people in, like, no, I know, I in, know. Um, in, a, in harm and that. Depends on the situation, though. Yeah. Okay, same story. Mm. Let's say someone cheated. Yeah. Yeah. Would you, would you would you then not want to see them on the street? <laughs> no, I still I still yeah. wouldn't want to see him on the street, but it just because I I just be I'm like miserable until like the situation eased off. Mm. Uh, mm. Yeah, but like I'm pretty sure if uh, like you know if your part if your girlfriend cheated and she was living with you and your family, your family's not going to want her around either. I wouldn't tell them. Cause I kn- I know what my family would do. Kick you out? I'll, I'll be, I'll, I'll be, I'll be, yeah. Hey, you'd ha- you'd have to kick her out. You have to give her some time. Say you got two days to get your shit and get the fuck out. Yeah. You know what? I, it's hard for me because like it's too much. It's a hard question. I can't put myself in that situation. No, this is true. You wouldn't kick me out. I know you. So to address both that and your situation, there's something that no one's mentioned that. Was when because I had this conversation with Judy last night because I showed her the video and I immediately contradicted my own thing. With to be fair, if that is the case, where now you're in that situation, you're her and you're living in this house and you have this car that you're not paying for, unless like you're really stupid with your money, you should have a good kit of your savings. Yeah, because you have no expenses, yeah, (laughs) no serious ones. Mm-hmm. So, like, even in your situation, if you, in that case, like, you would have had savings that if it came to, well, we're broken up now and it's, like, you need, you don't have a place to live, but it shouldn't take you that long to find one with the amount of money you have. Mm-hmm. Good point. I never thought of that angle. No, none of and, us did. And I do, I do just want to clarify as well, like, I painted out what I think is a more forgiving situation than what she painted out, but I think her what she was saying like i the the thing that caught me as well is is her um well if if you're not gonna pay for it i'm gonna trash the car and trash oh yeah (laughs) yeah we didn't even comment on that part yeah (laughs) i mean there's girls that actually do that i was watching um something and um i was watching vanderpump rules and then the guy cheated and then she like just trash, like got all his clothes, put them in a massive pile, drank all his really expensive champagne. I can't remember what it's called or really expensive liquor. And then like put cigarette butts all in it. And like, yeah, just vengeful. Is is that girl single? She's my type. <laughs> <laughs> my kind of girl. What's the comment saying on this? Did you read any? Oh. Yeah, there's a brilliant one. I forgot about this. There's one that goes, so they they said they would love to ask her, so how would you feel if while you were together, he was still paying for all this stuff for his ex? Oh. Oh, That's a great question. Yes. That uh, is a great question. Yeah. Yeah. That is. Oh, wow. Yes. How would I feel? Yeah. Nah, that would have got her. I know if I was doing it, I would feel broke. <laughs> you wouldn't feel broke. <laughs> I would because I'm paying for two girls' apartment, two girls' cars. Yeah, you wouldn't, Which, okay, you wouldn't feel broke. Ask... You, you would be broke. <laughs> You're not feeling broke. Yeah. <laughs> can I ask the... So there's obviously people that do do this, like the sugar daddies, the sugar mummies. Is that what they're called? Mummies? Mm-hmm. Sugar mummies. Um, now they know... Maybe it's different for each one, but do they have like a stipulation that if I am giving you all this stuff, you're only you you can only be with me, or do they know that it's an arrangement? It the, depends the, on the arrangement. Yeah, there's some so some that do stipulate them. that. Yeah, and then some. It's like when you're with me, you're with me, and then when you're not with me, you do you. Wow. And there are some, there are some that stipulate like, <laughs> this is, 
when I was in London, early on, I went on a date with a girl who had messages from a guy who wanted to be her sugar daddy. What? And she was showing me them. It's just, I was just like, this was the first time it, it was in my real life context that I'd seen this. Like I'd seen on the internet and stuff, but to someone actually show me, yeah, like these are the messages from someone trying wow. to, get he's like, look, I'll pay you, I'll pay for your rent, I'll pay for your bills and I'll pay you this much. I think it was like a thousand pound per month. I'll wow. pay you this. You have to be with only me, but I've got multiple of you. Like there's, there's other girls. Yeah, right. So he's but, paying a thousand dollars a month for multiple. But the thing is, if you're on top a, of their bills, on top of their bills, like Destiny's Child. <laughs> but like, if you don't even know this person, you wouldn't even care, right? Like, let's say you were a struggling person. You have to like, do. Sh- you still have to do shit. You can't just like. <laughs> okay, but what if they actually? Wait. What if that? Wait, wait, person- wait, 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 wait. You think he's just giving you money, and you're like, oh, cool. Wait, what if the person you are actually like attracted to, like, oh, actually, you're actually all right. Like, it's different if you're not. But you have to be uh, um be all right with like him having multiple of you. Yeah. So, but this is what I'm saying. Like, let's say you didn't go to the supermarket and your eyes locked and you fell in love type, or you didn't have that instant whatever. Mm. And he's just reached out over um social media. And let's say you're a single mom or you're struggling through uni or whatever it might be, and like. Yeah. You, you want to pay for me? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you can pay for me. Are you all right with him having multiple partners? Yeah, because you have no attachment to that person. Yeah, but you still have to do stuff for him. I don't. I think you're missing mm. the doing stuff with yeah, him. Yeah, maybe I'm missing. I think the you're doing just seeing the money and then going. I don't have to do anything. So yeah, I think okay. you're both missing. I think you're both saying the right thing because Emma is definitely missing what you have to do for that money. Yes. But that still doesn't stop people from doing it. Like, but if like, you're no, in that situation, that no, 100%. Painting, like, yep. there, are, there are people who, who want to be sugar babies. Like, that's yes. their aim because they're in a struggling situation. Um, I have a question. Mm-hmm. Like, Alexander, now, if you met a girl who used to be a sugar baby, <laughs> could, you, could you still date her? Oh. I don't know if Julie would be happy. <laughs> <laughs> let's, say you, let's say you and Julie weren't together. And you met this Ooh. young lady. She seems quite nice. But then you found out that she was a sugar baby. Would you still date her? Contact. I'd need, I'd need to know what was her arrangement. Why yeah. did she do it before yeah. I would judge? Because yeah. like, I, look, I've been there in terms of I've been struggling financially. And the more when you're in a, when you're in a situation where you're really struggling financially, the things you're willing to do for money are completely different. I'm not saying that I did anything. I'm just saying like the things that you would consider an entire, like I, for example, when I worked um, in central London and there there was this club that we went to that was across the road. It was basically like this really high scale club. We had no business being there. I only went in there a couple of times. Like you should be wearing like a three piece suit kind of deal. Oh, wow. In there, there are women specifically looking for a sugar daddy daddy. and there are women specifically looking for a sugar baby and when i found that out i was like look i'm not gonna hunt one but i wouldn't mind bumping into one like (laughs) i'm not (laughs) because some of the being a cub (laughs) some of them they just want you to go to dinner with them that's what i was gonna say like if it's just like come to dinner with me like that's like all right then (laughs) but like if it was anything a man's point of view that if he's paying for your car, your house, and all that shit, he wants more yeah, than you. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I hate to be, hate to be the one to tell you, but yeah, it's definitely he wants more than dinner. Can I um, uh, can I uh, just ask Alexander what the uh, secret code was for the baby mamas? <laughs> was, it, was it like for the baby was mamas? It, uh, yeah, you were the, the baby. The sugar mamas. You were the sugar mamas. Uh, you were the sugar baby. Yeah. And the sugar mamas are like, wah, 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 <laughs> wah, <laughs> wah. Oh my God. This whispering in the ear go, wah, wah. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. I feel the like The strange this... thing is, he doesn't want to tell you how to wear, how to wear a diaper. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> had one of those big um, rattles. Rattles. A, d- a dummy. <laughs> uh, 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 she wanted she wanted him to go um, pee pee and poo poo in his little little pot. Can, no. can we clarify? I was never actually a sugar baby. Yeah, <laughs> I do sure. feel like sure, it happens what, more that's than what we they know. All say. Though. I think it's it's a world that we're not a part of. Yeah, I feel like. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, going now back to being on her side, not her side, but the side that I painted earlier when I said like the savings. As again, like if you're in a situation where this person loved the power dynamic and they said, "Don't work, I'll pay for everything," mm. Mm. then again, that that kind of puts you in a bad situation. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, it's 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 reflect the entitlement is reflective of there's another conversation i watched earlier this week where there are these three girls who do only fans who were talking about the money they make and everything and like how much of a bag they have and stuff and the guy was like but you understand this is temporary like what are you doing with your money and what are you doing for yourself to make sure that you survive the temporary mm-hmm. like when the temporary ends and they couldn't understand the point of view that this isn't a permanent solution to their money Mm-hmm. Like this, this won't go on forever, regardless of whether OnlyFans goes on forever. People mm-hmm. aren't gonna pay to watch them forever. Yeah. Um. But I think it's that obliviousness to what it means to financially manage yourself. Mm-hmm. Like I think they, the same with this woman here. Like they, they just see they see it as like this certainty of but i've been there it's it doesn't make sense for me to go back like it's not what you're saying doesn't happen to people like that's just not how it works do you know what i mean like it's, it's mm-hmm. i don't know it's just a bit i want to see i want to know what this show is is this on um love and hip-hop or something i have no idea i just saw the toy clip it's um i i guess i think you're it's comparing to like um you know those superstars like the rise to fame like they were 18 and they were prodigies and they like whatever league it is whether it be baseball basketball whatever and they hit the heights really early like there's this superstar they're like this is the new coming right and all of a sudden like whether they get injured or they get a bad coach or their teammates and they go through a rough patch and they have to they go down like their stock goes down but they're, they're in their head they're thinking no no i'm still that 18 year old superstar i'm still on the rise where it's like no man you have to come back down, realize where you are, reset yourself and then start again. And I think, I think this girl is like, no, I'm here now, but not, not realizing she has to start again Mm -hmm. and maybe not rely on someone else, uh, uh, coming externally to push her up to that same status. But, um, look internally to get to that status because then she'll be the real boss. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I don't know. It's just, yeah, it's weird. It's just that the human, human nature, right? Agree. I was uh, searching through the internet. No, we were watching T Pain. T Pain's uh, the pop. This is pop on this Netflix. Is pop. And uh, the word cookie cookie cutter came up, and I said, "What the hell is cookie cutter?" Wait, what? Why? What? As in just the, in the normal, how people use it, you, you didn't know what it was, you mean? No, in the context that it was used in Netflix. So it was like uh, they were talking about pop music and then they said there was a cooker cut, cookie cutter. Um, anyway, so cookie cutter is denoting something mass produced or lacking any di- dis- distinguishing characteristics. Yes. Um, yeah. It's, it's uh, yeah. It's so, like when you talk about cookie, I don't want a cookie cutter house, I don't want a cookie cutter dog, I don't want a cookie cutter, whatever it might be, it just means you don't want what everyone else has, like what the norm is. You want something outside the box, something different. It, would you, do you think you would, do you think you would want something different? In what respect, for what? All right, so I was, I was looking and reflecting on our life and I feel like we were, we have a cookie cutter life. Mm-hmm. And it pissed me off straight away. <laughs> CJ's face, like, where is this going? <laughs> what, what? Are we in therapy? <laughs> well, sort of. <laughs> so it was pissing me off. We're in this cookie cutter life. So I was like, um, man. So 
there's this thing, this article came out and it goes, a cook, cookie cutter people marry young and have longer committed relationships at an early age. I said, tick. <laughs> yeah. I said, when two, <laughs> two cookie cutter people find each other, they are satisfied. Since they have very reasonable life goals, such as becoming an accountant, buying a three-bedroom house, or starting a family, and they are on track to achieving their plan. Oh, we have a three-bedroom household. You, you be, fucking tick. Exactly got a three-bedroom house. And we've got a family, which is what I've always wanted. Yeah. F and tick, right? And I kept None of reading us are this. Though. Keep reading this bloody article, and I was getting absolutely furious. <laughs> This is not much consideration in pursuing radical dreams or changing the world. Cookie cutter people have their own world and stay focused on their daily life. Their stresses include grocery shopping, family reunions, <laughs> and the finale of X Factor. I said, yes. tick, tick, tick. Yes. Tick, tick, tick. That's us. X Factor was pretty good. X yeah, Factor is pretty yeah. good, man. Don't knock X Factor. Oh. So, <laughs> the thing is, right, I realize this. I realize this. We have a cooker cutter life. But at the same time, I've always had an itch, uh, a, a certain inkling, a certain uh, underlying <laughs> drive where I wanted to do something more than what this, like, you know, just colour outside just the line, Just Go a out. little bit. Yeah. Or just reshape the cookie. Mm -hmm. So it's not circle. It's mm -hmm. sort of, it's got a bit of like, you know, mm -hmm. shit on the side. It's a funny shape. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a turtle. You know, there's little legs. And yeah. a head, so it's yeah. not a circle, but it's got it's just out. Anyways, yeah. so I started thinking about it's it, it it hit me. It hit me when I uh when I was I realized I was going the same path as everyone as uh as everyone else was when I was having conversations with old men. Old men. Right. This is when I knew that I was gonna go down that path. Yeah. Right? Because these people have walked the path already. And they have a cookie cutter life. Mm -hmm. They have it all set in front of them. All they have to do is retire. And this, these people can complain. The older that they get, the more that they complain, right? Yeah. And I was like, "That's me." I looked at these guys, and I was like, "That's me." CG, are, are you? Are you? I was gonna say, isn't the reason why men get older and complain because we have more estrogen coming into our body? What? Oh. Is that why? What? I, I, look, Siege could be 100% accurate on this, but for some reason, something in my gut is telling me he's connected those dots all by himself. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think the lack of testosterone, there's a lack of, we lose testosterone, yeah. but I don't think estrogen enters our body. I'm I, looking I thought, it up. I'm our, looking our, it up. Our estrogen, our estrogen, uh, our estrogen levels get, go higher as we get older, I thought. Oh, I don't know. I was going to say, it sounds like you're just having a midlife crisis, mate. Not a midlife crisis, because this happened before. It, uh, I realized I was, we were going down a cookie-cutter life. but there, there, Maybe you're just having an early midlife crisis. There were things well, that... Because you've, you've, you, you bought the bike already. The Remember you had the <laughs> motorbike? Yeah, very early on, because, yeah. Yeah. All right, let, 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 let's look at the evidence here. Mm. Most guys with a mid midlife crisis have... um. Buy a sports car, yeah. a motorbike, and things like that. Yeah. Right? You've done that. Yeah. Okay, so maybe you're just an early bloomer. Wait, wait. You need to learn to <laughs> wait, accept. Is that the, the all the evidence you've given? That, that, <laughs> is that it? That, 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 that this is your life, right? <laughs> accept it. That was my favorite <laughs> part. Let's, let's look at the evidence. <laughs> One piece of evidence. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for the list Enough of the evidence. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In a murder trial, all you think you need is the knife or the gun, the prints on it. <laughs> and that's enough evidence to convict someone, correct? Uh, uh, so the motorbike is the knife and the gun. You did can want I, a motorbike, yeah. Can I throw caution to your wind of cookie cutter life? Mm. So there's a reason things are cookie cutter, right? Like mm -hmm. it's not cookie cutter because you're you lack innovation or because you lack desire or passion or anything like that. The reason things are cookie cutter and the reason why stereotypes exist, the reason why things are cliche is because they work. Like that's actually what people want. That's actually yeah, how people are. Um, so like 
for example, in the music industry, the reason why you have a cookie cutter music artist is because they've figured out, well, these are all the yeah. traits that make mm. you successful. Yeah. So a cookie cutter life is whether, obviously you didn't like look at a recipe and follow it. Like you've followed what your natural inclination is. Yeah. And that's led you to the life you want, which just so happens to be what a lot of humans want, what a lot of people want. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Uh, there's not no like don't get me wrong i i have the best of both worlds because i think um i think emma loves the cookie cutter life i love it certain points but i also like to like you know make my own shapes create my own dough play with play dough right this is true because i'll buy like a set of six beautiful um you know, like mugs, and then he'll go and buy a, bra- a brown ugly mug or something. Yeah, but that's then, just that's just showing and something puts underlying. It in my, you know, it's in just my sort of mug like... cupboard, and I'm like, ah. A- Emma, was I correct about men and the estrogen levels? You increasing? were correct. Wow. Yeah, estrogen or estrogen in men mm. does increase as you get older. However, it shouldn't but, go to an abnormally high level if it doesn't. You get boobies. Problem. But does it have anything to do with being grumpy? <laughs> Uh, that, was the, that was the dotsy connected. Wait. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm taking the win. All right, I got half of it correct. I'm taking the win. There is something you can't take this win away from me. Something known as irritable ma- irritable male syndrome. Mm. Stressed out, grumpy, moody. This- not to be confused uh, with irritable uh, bowel syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're linked, though. Um. Yeah, w- 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 one one you got a shitty mood, and the other you got a shitty shit. <laughs> uh. Oh, male menopause, hormonal cycles with males during adolescence, also the years of forty to fifty-five. Mm. Um, what we call male menopause or andropause. Didn't know about that. And then there are hormonal changes in men going through irritable male syndrome <laughs> related to a man's stress. Um, I haven't found out about the estrogen. I will keep searching. Continue. So, uh, uh, do you, uh, I'm curious, as, mm. as the cookie cutters of the group, mm. talking to two makers. non-cookie cutters. <laughs> yeah. But me and me and Siege are non cookie cutters, but we took different directions outside of the cookie cutting tray. Yeah. Like he went left, I went right. Yeah. Is there any yeah. You went wrong I I ate the box and then broke it? <laughs> <laughs> are there any <laughs> anything that you see from our life where you're like, that would have been better over the cookie cutter? Over whose life? On we're looking over the fence at um oh, uh, Alexander, Alexander and, and CJ. Are there any are there any blades of grass that are a bit greener? I I would only say because when I met Emma, the reason why the cookie cutter like hit home for me because when I met Emma, Emma was traveling from England to um Australia, and then she said that after this I'm going to New Zealand, and after that I'm going to Canada, yes. right? But then I was like, fuck that, I pinned you down. You ain't so you, going nowhere. You, you <laughs> just brought my cookie cutter a bit right. earlier. Right, so that's that's why it hit home because I was like, "Damn it, did I stop Emma from reshaping her her shaping her cookie shape? <laughs> did it, was she supposed to have like a world cookie cut? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it could have been a star cookie. A star, no, well, yeah, like it would have been uh, whatever. You could have been you could have been somewhere else. You could have been in Canada right now, mm-hmm. right? So that's when I was I uh, like I was. That's when I started thinking, like, should I keep pushing Emma to find out where she would have been? Like, keep expanding and challenging the relationship because I feel guilty from pinning her down. Are you at- saying you want Emma to date other men just in case? <laughs> Do you just want a- me to be a sugar baby? You, you never know. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, CJ. My question is this. Mm. Emma... Are you happy? Yeah. Then who cares about Canada? Yeah. No, it's I think not that. that when you say the blade of grass on the other side, is it greener? Um, just one blade? Yeah. I think the, when yeah, I look at. Might not at be the whole other, garden, just a couple of blades. Well, I think when I. There are definite. Okay, this is all right. This is true, but this is true for everyone in every circumstance. 
the grass is always greener about some things. For example, people that didn't get married as young as us or have a house or have kids are able to travel a lot more and then we can't travel because we, you know, that's just not in our budget. It doesn't fit with our lifestyle at the moment, our family. So then you're like, oh, but we missed out on that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? But then when you speak to other people that are on that opposite side, they're like, yeah, but I want the husband or I want the kids or yeah. I want the... Like Backstreet Boys. What? I want, I want, I want it that way. That yeah. Or... So that it's just, it's always both ways. Tell me why. Can I, yeah. can I just yes, ding, 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 ding that? Because... <laughs> yes. yeah. Again left of field cookie cutter like didn't didn't go that route what are my goals now like what am i aiming for i'm aiming to move in with my girlfriends mm -hmm. eventually buy a house mm -hmm. have kids mm -hmm. yeah. live in sydney yeah like i'm i'm literally going from the opposite of cookie cutter towards <laughs> to... your exact life <laughs> yeah like, <laughs> You're buying the cookie stencils. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've washed them, passed them on. You're reusing so, them. <coughs> these um, blades of grass mate, that you've you're looked trying at. To get your you're trying to get your cookies in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, I think yeah, maybe it's just a timing thing and everyone really drifts towards the cookie cutter thing. Not everybody, not everybody, but a lot of people do. And it, maybe it's just a timing thing. And when that happens, to be honest. And also, I have an answer. Mm. Ready? Mm. This is from medicinenet.com about irritable male syndrome. So I'm going to just scoop over a few a little bit. And then it says, when we put on weight, this was interesting, by the way, our fat cells are more active in converting testosterone into estrogen. Did you know that? The more estrogen we have and the less testosterone we have, the more irritable we become and the less sense of our own manly strength that we have. What? That's one way they get out of whack. So you're right. The more estrogen you have, the more irritable slash grumpy and moody you are. Can I yeah, just I think I'm throw the caveat TRT. of... What's TRT? I, Anyways. Oh, yeah. Testosterone replacement therapy. Can I just throw <laughs> the caveat of... Do we know if that article is in any way... Like medicine, was it Medicine Net? <laughs> medicine dot net. No, I have not um, checked to see if this is a peer <laughs> peer review. <laughs> peer review. <laughs> Why are you trying to prove me wrong, Alex? I'm not. It was just the wording. It. it was the wording. I was in right. That just made yeah. me think that some guy just wrote that. I just want to end this this segment by saying, what pissed me off the most about being labelled as a cookie cutter, or just me reading and researching, was I found this website on Notable Life. And uh, it was 25 examples of uh, if you're a cook cookie cutter. Mm -hmm. And number 21, oh no, 25 examples of how not to be a cookie cutter life. And 21 was make sure your place isn't furnished, with, furnished entirely from Ikea. And that's <laughs> when I knew. That's when I knew. Where were you earlier today? That's when I knew. That's when I knew. I said it's Geo, mate. Game over. Game over. That's what I knew. That's what I effing knew. That the, the, those cookies are in the oven, and you mate. Go, and you start it's shopping done. at Lowe's. Man. <laughs> That'll be the next one. A L I E N S. My sister and mine's favourite discussion that sometimes gets us really high energy, sometimes yeah. has us butting heads like crazy. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I want to throw a question out. So I don't know if you guys know about this report that came out yesterday, finally. Thank but you for sending the, it to me. I did read if, it. If you, want to throw, if you want to throw a question out, why are you throwing it to us? Throw it out somewhere else. Because no, no, I want to see how to you us. guys engage with it as well. So this report was... It was ordered by the Trump administration back in December for, I think it was along with a lot of other things, but they threw in there that they wanted this um, redacted report published in six months' time to Congress, who then may redact some stuff, but it go out to the public, of the findings from the UAF task force, which is the Unidentified Aerial... Is it UAP? Sorry, P, Phenomena. P, yeah. The Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, the new acronym for ufo what used to be ufo um 
their findings of the sightings that have been happening since about 2004 to recent day. Um, a lot of them now by like military and all that kind of stuff, not just by your general public. And this this report has people have been waiting and waiting and waiting, speculating about what's going to be in it. And then it came out yesterday, and it pretty much was like, yeah, we don't we we don't know. Like we we've got literally. No answers. That's what it said. Um, <clears throat> so I just wanted to throw this thing out to Emma because when it comes to this kind of stuff, to give a quick overview of our stances, me and Emma both believe in aliens. Both believe they exist. Me and Emma are very aligned on a lot of things, but. One fundamental difference in our beliefs when it comes to aliens is the likelihood that they've visited Earth. Mm -hmm. That's where we sort of part ways. Differ. Um, and sort of is putting it generously. I think Emma's... <laughs> Emma's who's very for and much... who's against? <laughs> oh, you don't know? I'm for. I think they've I been know. here. I know. I think but they've... <laughs> people people oh, listening sorry, won't. Sorry. <laughs> I think aliens have been here and I'm quite... I'm I'm sure they have, but yeah. you know, Emma's, and, Emma's and my brother confident. does not. I'm quietly confident. I, on the other hand, believe aliens are so far removed from what we are as humans. Just like all life on this planet is unbelievably different, that the chances that they even have spaceships, even if they can, like they might be gas for all we know. Like they don't have to be a physical formed thing that flies in a ship. And then also happens to come to other planets and observe, which is again a very human thing. Like, I think it's a really human centric idea that aliens would come and visit and observe us and stuff. Like, I just think that's what we would do. So we assume other life would do it. Um, but a question to you who, who, by all accounts, know more about the sightings. Um, not the military ones, like I'm pretty well versed in those, but like other ones that people have talked about, like because there, there are lots of reports all over the world, lots of pictures and videos of people posting <laughs> stuff. Not very something good I pictures. Thought of, <laughs> well, look, this is something that I, I thought about that. while reading this, reading this report because they were talking about the different sightings and like the different circumstances. And I was like, hold on. So if these reports that have come out there are some similarities in some of them. Like, for example, some of the triangle ones, Emma, with her own sighting. Some of the more orb ones. Then you have, like, the Tic Tac one. Then you have the weird-shaped one that was rotating. Like... Yeah. So, is the idea that this is one species of possible alien that's come here in several different kinds of ships kind of like... SpaceX versus uh, what is the Blue Origin mm -hmm. versus NASA versus Russia. Like, they're all mm -hmm. sending up their own kind of ship, aren't they? Mm -hmm. is, is it that idea? Or is it the idea that there are several different types of alien species that all happen to be visiting us at the same time? I am not sure. I think there's more than one species. However, um, that's just from my un... <laughs> I don't really, I can't attest to this, but I, 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 I believe that there are different types of aliens. I think that there are probably the grey aliens and <laughs> the grey aliens. Yeah. <laughs> De 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 like, what? Well, we've um, we've given them races. No, no, there are no, the grey aliens. Yeah, the the grey aliens are uh, the hey, ones that that are the. You're... We started the racism already on these aliens. <laughs> <laughs> we've, right. we've given a human construct to them as well. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Yeah, however... I don't, I don't want to talk to that alien. It's grey. However, <laughs> um, I do also think that if it was one species, they don't necessarily have to have one type of craft as well. And that might not be because they're from, like Alexander was saying, you know, their race or their alienness is separated like ours is. It could just be that they have made different types of ships. I'm not sure. So... I just want to ask Alexander, are you saying now that you do believe that aliens have have visited us? No, he doesn't believe it. No, even I with this new information? I, I think the question that I just posed to me makes it even more certain that they didn't visit us. They didn't. I, I, I would only... The only reason why I think they have visited us, and not, not, not as a human thing, but like... Um, I started, I started, I list, I started listening to this thing, the origin of species, right? 
and it showed that um I, I started reading it but i oh man i'm so into it it's we're Where all into this? we're on all interconnected somehow right we're all in on this on this planet we're all somehow connected mm-hmm. and then it started like you know when you start talking about intuition and you talk about subconscious and um the all that kind of stuff i wonder if that's how we're connected to the rest of the universe and for that energy to go out there, I wonder if I wonder if the aliens are picking up on that energy and coming. So the only reason why I feel like aliens would come visit, not as a, a observation, but just because of the energy that we're sending out there. Well, a, a lot of people level. that have that are into aliens do definitely believe there's the, the telepathic thing. So they actually. I'm not talking about telepathic. I'm talking well, it's, that's about the it's, energy it's as well, right? As well. Is it? Is telepathic is through? Well, oh it's yeah, it's a different. It's a wave. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I, know. I know what you mean. Yeah. CJ. Um, maybe a sh- the the world is just a good alien holiday destination. <laughs> I mean, we could we could go with that narrative. Could they you like expand to come on here. that? Yeah. They're sending they're sending people yeah. oh, aliens to come and uh, look at us. Look at those. It's a look at this world over here, the blue world. And there's things that move on it, and they come and they look. Like, like you know, you know the Bermuda Triangle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe, maybe that's their little um, area. They go mm-hmm. where they can see us. Maybe, and maybe the reason for the different crafts <laughs> is because of the <laughs> the journey they take on the way here. Kind of like if you're going to America, you can go by boat, you can go by plane. You yeah. Could maybe you probably could... not go by helicopter. Like yeah. Maybe One they just goes took the a different route. Here. route. So one yeah. goes the <laughs> one's like the express train, you know, it gets you there in a yeah, first the other class, one is like you want to see economy. the stars go by. Yeah. So I think look, I, I You got you got the alien Beyonce. I think even <laughs> even what you're saying, Dev, like I think with the idea of consciousness, because I'm I'm very much on the idea if we talk about consciousness that I don't think consciousness and the physical body are typically or I, I don't assume they're as connected as a lot of people think. Like because of our physical makeup that's what generates our consciousness like i'm open to the idea of that i'm also open to the idea that consciousness is completely separate from humans and we just sort of are tapping into it yeah Yeah. um but i will also say that our observation of consciousness comes in one form so through our lens even then even those two open ideas are still to me two of millions of possibilities that we yes. haven't even conceived because 100%. we're yeah we're, we're looking at it from one perspective so i just yeah this is where this is why i say to me this is more evidence that they haven't is and when i say evidence i use a word loosely but I, what i mean is we look at things from a singular perspective as far as a species and we look at things from experiential point of view and and in, linear. in the universe from one we look at it linearly yeah. time we look at linearly everything yeah. space we look at as as this 3d space but we see it from one point of view like as yeah. many as as different as we are as humans we're not a, like a, a chimpanzee's point of view would be drastically different than any two humans um yes so for that like even the idea that we understand the origins of life on earth like i don't buy into it like i i'm not saying it's wrong but i'm saying the likelihood of it being right is extremely small like how do we Mm. not know that plenty of different asteroids meteorites whatever crashed into earth over the apparent millions and billions of years that it's been here and just brought several different life forms like it's the idea that we just know everything to me is crazy arrogant oh no considering no, yeah, how wrong we've been 100%. proven over time yeah and that's so yeah, that's why the idea that these multiple spaceships that are co- completely different forms have completely different attributes do different things behave in different ways are uh, either several species to me the idea of several species of aliens coming here is crazy small chances like unbelievably insignificant that we've not seen anything and yet several of them have come here like what are we doing that's broadcasting to that many different species that far away that we can't detect that all happen mm-hmm. to come here mm-hmm. why are they all behaving in the it's, same way in terms the men of black <laughs> i think it's what? more likely that it's one species 
with, and then with, again, with various crafts. So if it's one species with various crafts, taking the human perspective on this, because the idea that they come in crafts and all that is already a human's perspective. So taking mm-hmm. the human perspective, mm-hmm. if we were going to do that to another planet, what are the chances that we've developed that many different types of craft that behave in that many different types of ways that can all make mm-hmm. that journey? Like the very well, well, by the time we make that journey, I think there's a higher chance. But do you not, is it not the same as like when we make it to the moon for the first time, when we make it to Mars, for the, like one craft Yeah, but it does might it. not be We don't even have a fleet time. of craft. It's not it, even it, like it, there's a fleet of the same craft. There's just one, like yeah. only one that can do it. And I then they build another one. I think you have to consider one. that I personally don't believe that it, this is a new thing. I believe this, that aliens have been visiting Earth for possibly thousands of years. Um, so I I think that sightings have been around for ages, obviously, um, even before the modern day. And then when the modern day human was taking sightings, it wasn't being taken seriously. And now it's starting to be taken seriously. But I don't think this is a new thing. What, what What's the article that Alexander was talking about? The UAP? Oh, that's the report. It's, it's the like report? a 180 page report. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Um, yeah, they summarize it at the beginning, but yeah. I, I freaking hate it report. if you read all of it and then it, at the end it goes psych. I, I, <laughs> oh, that well, would shit me. The thing that, that I haven't me. read, I, I definitely, obviously, haven't read the whole report. Um, yeah, and the thing I don't like is summaries often don't actually summarize. They give you what they want you to read because they know you're not yeah. going to read the whole thing. Yeah. Um, so I don't know what's in there. I'm waiting because there will be people who will read it and then talk about it. Yeah. I'm waiting to see yes. all the different perspectives on what's in yeah. it. Um, the, I read yeah. the well, eight I page. Either. I read eight pages. The one that you sent. I'm intrigued by those people that read the the 180 pages like within like a day, <laughs> and then they have a good like a grasp of the what the the report's about. And I'm like, Are you serious? Are you you, under, you go, yeah, page 40, um, paragraph three, this is what they said. And I'm like, this well, is the evidence. I'm like, From what? the summary, what? they basically summarized what everyone was talking about before. So they yeah. basically said, we don't know what it is. Oh. Um, it is, however, a threat to national security. We've got five categories that we're going to be placing them into. Um, and the last category was, category was a catch-all other bin. <laughs> So, any, so think, every, everything that didn't fit the first four categories just goes into the other category. Oh, dear. And I but, think um, the thing that frustrates me about these types of things as well is you don't see debate mm. and when I, among the people who should be debating. You see debate among me and Emma. You see debate among several other people who have contracts of views. But what you don't see, like, for example, I... I often present Emma with information, be one side or the other, just new information that I see someone say. And I'm like, well, this is new. I'll share it with Emma. Um, just in the same way that I like discovering it. I know she does. So one thing that you don't get to see, though, is you don't get to see the people who are Shaking high up, jar. who mm. like these... these um, navy pilots or whatever um the the people who are who are viewing these sensors and these radars the people who are mm. observing this stuff you don't get to see them have a conversation with the people who come up with explanations for this stuff yeah so you I don't ever get to, to see them refute no like, they it, need to have a sit down jerry springer style well not jerry springer style but <laughs> open forum like a, you know how you can watch don't, don't most blo- uh, whistleblowers end up dead a lot of them Mm-hmm. Well, these aren't considered whistleblowers, but, are they? but now, yeah, right. now it's now that more and more high. I mean, even with uh, what's his name, good old thingy, the yeah. Bob, yeah, it's not David Friedman. No, no, who's my one? Elon. Netflix one. No, anyway, Snowden. No. Oh, Bob Lazar. Bob no. Lazar. Like he has been. He w- He had to basically go Hal-Lazar. quiet for twenty years. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Um. Where was I going? I don't know. Oh, you, you threw me off track. Um, the debate? I uh, can't remember. Because I, I don't know, like I've seen people give explanations to me that are scientific, not explanations, but scrutiny, which are scientific scrutiny, which something like Neil deGrasse Tyson said, which I 
whether he's right in his conclusion or not, points that he made I agree with, which are things like the level of scrutiny, science, whenever science comes out with a theory or, and when I say science, I mean like a, a, like a conglomeration of scientists, not just like one report, like the body of science, the, the people who speak sort of on, on behalf of the community. When they come out and say, this is a new discovery or this is a new theory that we're, we, we found or whatever, the level of scrutiny that it goes under is unbelievably yes. strict. Yes. And the amount of repetition that is required under the same circumstances with the same pieces of information, which unfortunately you can't force in this situation because it's it's purely like happenstance. When it happens, then there's a viewing, there's a sighting, there's a reading of data or whatever. But the lack of... Uh, like congruent situations, similar situations that happened and the lack of the the credibility of one um what's it called eyewitness testimony eyewitness. like i <clears throat> excuse me i do i believe in eyewitness testimony maybe 0.01% of the time uh, is it mm. actually accurate and that's not because I don't believe people and I don't believe that they believe what they're saying but we're very flawed when it comes to that kind of thing as, as people like it's proven we're not good at it yeah um, and then the sensors and the data it's if you're tracking something that you're not expecting to track is your data is your is your radar is your sensor are uh, one are you reading the data properly because you've never read data that does this kind of thing before so it's not just, it, when it comes to data, it's not just what does the data say? Oh, that's conclusive. It's something. It's how do you interpret the data? So are they interpreting it right to start with? Did it actually accurately record what they're saying it did? Because it's not built to record that. Mm. Like this, And then some of the explanations that have come out that have said, well, these are possible explanations for why this thing's happened. I'm like, look, I don't know if they're right. These, the, the scrutiny might be wrong. It might be entirely wrong but I'm not the person to judge that. Like I don't have enough intelligence to understand whether that scrutiny is right or wrong, but it presents enough of a picture that I want someone who's intelligent enough to have that conversation. Definitely. And it's just but frustrating. Also, I, yeah. But I find it frustrating when people disclude people's, uh, for example, David Fravor, he, he's been a, a, a pilot and top gun and that he's been, high level for 20 years and he's come up with the technology and the new planes and all the sensors and everything so to see something like this and he said it wasn't just a quick it wasn't it didn't didn't happen you know and then five seconds 10 seconds he said they were visually seeing this thing and and actively tracing it for five about five minutes so then he's never said what he's never said he thinks it's aliens no, I'm no, I know we don't, I, we don't even have to say aliens, but it's something he said he doesn't believe from this world based on the information he knows. Has, at he, the said, level has that he actually he has, said it doesn't believe yeah, it's from this world? Yes. I don't think yes, I've ever heard yes, him yes, say yes. that. I've heard him say I that have. he doesn't know what it is. No, no, I've heard, no, no, in the interview, he specifically says he doesn't think it's from this world. I've watched it. I watched him say that. So I've seen the same interviews you have. I don't, I, I could be wrong. No. I, I, honestly, I just don't remember him saying that conclusion. I remember him saying yeah, he no, doesn't, he he's not oh. aware of propulsion systems that can do that. He's not aware, of, but he doesn't know what it is. He, spe- he said the world, he doesn't, he said the words, he doesn't think it's from this world. I, I'll, I'll find it. I'll forward it on. But um, I think, yeah, when people like us <laughs> who just have like normal day jobs, <laughs> try and refute what an expert or someone in that field that has been day after day after day so thousands of hours is, doing that this is where we disagree i don't think he's an expert on what he's seeing i think he's an expert pilot that's two oh, completely yeah, pilot, different things as in, to me no no he's not an expert on what he's seeing he's an expert on ma- and being able to maneuver and and read the data of the planes that he's flying because if he was not an expert at that he would not be at the level because the danger of flying those types of planes like he needs to he needs to know everything can i give you an analogous an analogous situation where Mm. i think you'd agree with me maybe not lewis hamilton lewis hamilton is an expert formula one driver he understands the data he helps his mechanics 
build what they build without his feedback they wouldn't be able to build the formula one cars that they do like that guy knows what he's doing Mm -hmm. he's still not an expert on car manufacturing like the mechanics still know more about cars than he does Oh, like course, significantly yeah. more about cars than he does yes of course so is they not the same situation like why is david fravor more of an expert on propulsion systems like um lewis oh, hamilton no, not... knows all this stuff he doesn't know anything about combustion engines like yeah, he can't yeah. build a combustion he doesn't know what the possibilities are no i agree I agree. No, no, I'm not saying he's the expert in that. I'm saying the expert in how to read his own data that he's seeing. And yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But what's that got to because do some with people have said- seeing something that has a propulsion system that you're not familiar with? I think no, no, like, that's why separate. Be that's familiar? just another thing. I think, yeah. I think seeing like, um, for instance, if he's in an aircraft, uh, I don't know how many different aircrafts he's drew. Like he would have he's ha- flown different heaps, like years. helicopters, everything, right? Like- not helicopters, I don't think. Well, maybe. So for for me, and this is just a theory. Like if you if you do something long enough, um, you it becomes uh, intuition. It becomes inbred with you. Uh, it becomes part of your DNA. If you and you sort of become a master in the movement of aircraft, right? Because like you start moving, and then if you see something that doesn't match up with the intuitions, it brings up alarm bells because you've been doing it for so long so i'm only guessing that he has uh, done aircrafts at a at a high level right and you're right he's not um, um uh, an expert in in that aircraft but for his intuition in his intuition he's thinking hmm i haven't seen that before in an aircraft and not just so him let other me, pilots let too. me put you in a in a different let's imagine our current state of the world, but in a different place and time. Um, mm. In terms of, let's imagine again. I'll take the Lewis Hamilton example: racing, yeah. Yeah. but pre-combustion engine. So the yeah. same level of expert in terms of how good he is, how much he knows compared to other people, his ability to read data, all that kind of stuff. And mm. then one day, someone created a combustion engine. Mm. He would see a vehicle with a combustion engine, and be like, "I haven't got a fucking clue what that is." Yeah, yeah, I do yeah. not know it, but that doesn't mean that it was anything more than just someone creating a combustion engine. No, so of like course. these propulsion systems, yeah. this is what. But these are the kinds of things I mean. Like, just because he's seen something, he doesn't know what it means. It is. Yeah, it doesn't mean that no, it's no. a crazy out of this. Like, oh it no, could no, no, no. Of he doesn't know what it is. Look, yeah, 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 that's yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah, that's, and that's what's being investigated. Yeah, that's one hundred percent right. And, but then that's when <clears> I say. The eyewitness testimony, like you, like you say, when people say they don't believe him, I don't believe his conclusion because he's not. Why? Uh, why should conclusion. I believe his conclusion? Like, what? What's the basis no, no, that I should uh, believe his conclusion? Oh, okay. So I was responding because you said um, I think you made some a comment about um, not being able to read the data properly or thinking something is something on the sensor, but it's actually not that or whatever. And so I was saying, well, no, he was that it, it picked it up on his radar, his sensors, which he knows how to read, and it was with him for five minutes. I'm not stating that he, it's 100% an alien. Well, I'm his, saying that can he I, Can I ask, what's it, what is his conclusion? Well, that's what... He according, doesn't know what it is. Yeah, I, I, but from he did what I remember, say that. He, doesn't, he doesn't know. Oh, okay. said that but he, he said does something think, from out of this world. Yeah. Right. Okay. But then, so then, but that, so that point on the data and reading the senses and stuff, again, like, if this is something that is moving in a way that you've never seen, that you've never recognized, is your Mm. sensor built to track that kind of thing? And is your sensor accurately actually reading what's going on? So it doesn't matter whether you can read the sensor or not, is the sensor built to track that? Yeah. Uh, Yeah, yeah. yeah. I agree. So it's, again, like, it's, this is where these these reports can be accurate to the testimony of the people but it doesn't mean they're actually accurate reports and that's yeah. where the level of scrutiny that we put on science is different to what we're putting on this but to me it should be the same and look i i want i like everything within me wants this to be true like how incredible would it be to be alive during the period of time that this becomes like a real thing that would be insane mm. an experience like i'm talking paradigm shifting experience you wouldn't look at life the same way like i've, I've even asked emma and I, i've put this poll out and we, we've had this conversation like, even if they did discover it's aliens are they still actually going to tell us or are they going to give us a 
piece of the pie because if they did tell us, it's anarchy. Like, would you go to work the next day? Yeah, I still got bills. <laughs> but what do, bills? Do you? The aliens aren't paying my bills. Do you view that in the same way? Mm. Yeah. Because I'm not sure people do. Like, if if there's indisputable evidence, like an alien spaceship lands, it has a handshake with with a uh, Joe Biden, because you know it's going to be in America, of course. Because <laughs> ev- everything aliens always America. Um, yeah. So they land on the White House lawn. They go give Biden a handshake and they say, all right, um, Bob the alien, um, just making it known. Yep, we have been observing you for a long period of time. We now think it's a good time for us to come together. We think mm-hmm. we can help you. And what, like, I'm not going to work the next day. The people who provide me with electricity and stuff, like you, you're no longer important. Like this is complete. We're in a completely different situation. We're not in a, I need to survive a day-to-day life. We're in a, I need yeah. to survive a galactic <laughs> Here's, here's here's a theory, right? Here's a theory. Uh, with human nature, we always have to, for some unknown reason, have a, a common enemy. Yeah. What if they're creating these aliens, these grey aliens, so that we have someone to fight? So that we come together as a species and don't destroy our planet yeah. and unite. <laughs> and we, we, we fight together. Yeah. <clears throat> So this is another question what I posed. What colors do you mix together to get gray? I, I did pose. White and black. I, did, I posed this based <laughs> off of what Russell Brand said. <laughs> he, he posed this idea, but didn't pose, but didn't take it in this direction. He posed the idea of, you know, there's motivation for this being out now. Yes. Political, um, ge- so geopolitical. My, yeah, geopolitical motivation for this being a thing. So that was, so I took it away. You took it, Dev, in terms of, is there also motivation for them to lie? What what possibly could they be distracting from, or what could possibly be the motivation? Um, well, the f- world is effed up at the moment. There's a lot of things that they're doing to to distract us. There's a lot of things that the, I think the government's got their hands in to distract mm-hmm. the simpletons, us mm-hmm. from actually. We are the what, simpletons. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yeah. Us. Yeah. Us, simp- yep. And um, the cookie cutters. Yeah, I, I. If you're not awake to it, it's. I mean, I'm not awake to it. I'm still living. I we, to be honest, we have no idea. And Russell Brand also stated that he he's not he's not stupid. Of course, they're covering something up, and of course, they're doing something for their benefit or whatever they feel is the right thing to do. But that doesn't take away from the fact that the main messages there's things out there that no one knows what the heck they are like even the internet supposedly the internet that. was like hidden from us for years and they're like you know what let's hide all this stuff in plain sight so we'll give them information overload mm-hmm. so people can, everyone's opinion can be out there and no one knows what the truth is this is wow yeah mind blown not really <laughs> i think someone else came with that theory i'm just yeah, bringing props. it to the table uh yeah it's it look it's an interesting topic everyone has their difference of opinion i do think that uh if they say aliens exist aliens exist however i don't think that they're going to tell us everything at all i think they're going to spin the story to how they want to spin it and that is another episode of the b-side word we talked about some topics Peeps? Yeah, we did. What did we talk about? Do you, did you like that new format? I do you enjoy did. that new format? Is is it more flowing? Do you feel like it's more we get to talk about what we want to talk about and bring in like did you guys enjoy it? Yes. I did. I did. CJ. Yeah. But the, this, <laughs> the thing is, right, is you've now put me you've given me this lifestyle. Of this t- of this type of podcast, you can't <laughs> take that away from me anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 mate, you, you should have you should have got a job so you can keep up the lifestyle <laughs> yourself. <laughs> oh well, All right. we'll see you again next week. That's uh, that's episode one of the brand new style. <laughs>